Hey guys, good morning. How we doing? Not too bad. Had a little technical difficulty yesterday with the internet, but we're going to try and set up some type of schedule for the videos. So just make sure you smash that sub, turn a bell on, okay? And then you'll know when I'm doing a video or a live stream that's been uh, really going well. But anyway, guys, so you have seen this base around, right? We're going to play it. Now, this is a war tack, obviously, as you can tell by the layout. Now, I think what the guy was doing, and, it, and it's not a bad idea, I do it sometimes too, is he dropped a few loons to set off the air mines. Well, he got them all wrong because they were on the other side. Now, if you've seen this base, if you are in Legends, this is a popular base in Legend because it does make the air, you know, when it's being attacked by air. I am an air guy. I've attacked this air base. I have not to start it yet because, you know, the loons have gone off course a little bit. Uh, and it air is just not the way it used to be, right? So as you see, here it is. It's attack's not going well at all. He saves his heroes. I do the same thing. And you know what, guys? I probably would have done that too. I would have set the uh, wall breakers right there as well. Now he has the reinforced wall there. So it the Barbarian King does go for that wall. So it's looking good for him at this point. It didn't in the beginning, but if you save your heroes last, a lot of times that gets the job done. Now he does say five archers too. You see he's got five archers left and then his stupid queen went off course, guys. And then his king decided to beat on another wall, okay? It's absolutely ridiculous, the AI on the heroes, but it is what it is. And the hero went into that compartment instead of the other. So it's, yeah, I don't want to call it a trick base, but it does make the heroes and the troops go off course. He's unable to secure even one star. Uh, he's got the five archers left. Stick to the end. I'll show you the screenshot. I'm sure many of you guys have seen it. Okay, so he's up here at this camp. He's got four left. What can he do? The, unfortunately, he's got the mortar there, right? He hits a bomb, but, it, you know, the elixir right there is uh, just a few hits there, and he's have, he's going to get 49. He just cannot get that camp. The camps are always, you know, one of the low hit points there, and he's got one archer left, and he does not get it done, guys. So... Uh, I'll fast forward it. He brings the archer in to, I don't know, do whatever. Uh, but I'll show you the screenshot, guys. You decide if you want to use it. I do not particularly care for the base that much. It is a nice base. Uh, but there are, uh, you know, I'll show you here. There are a few flaws with it. Because once he, if he can break this center core here, with, with an EQ, then then it's easy. And as you see, their number six guy ended up attacking, and he did get 79%. But there it is, guys. It's a very popular base. Uh, now I see it a lot in, in the push uh, in the Legend League. So you guys decide if you want to use it in war or not. It is a trophy base, so you can use it to push. Um, but nothing's guaranteed. And, of course, any base can be three-starred on the very first time. So thanks for your time, guys. I appreciate it. You guys have a great day, and you rock on.